She won over millions playing inmate Stella Carlin on the hit Netflix series Orange is the New Black. But how well do you really know Ruby Rouse? From a shocking upbringing to a promising future on the big screen, here's the lowdown on one of Hollywood's most talked about actresses. For almost two years, Rose was engaged to designer Phoebe Dahl, the granddaughter of children's author Roald Dahl. Their engagement ended amicably in December 2015 due, in large part, to their hectic travel schedules, according to People. Dahl, remains very dear to my heart, Rose tweeted in the wake of their split. I will forever treasure our time together. I'm a better person because of all we shared. In turn, Dahl tweeted, Rose. You have brought me to my best and I will always love you. I can't wait to see what the future brings for us. She was an MTV VJ. Rose made a name for herself on the small screen in 2007 when she became a VJ for MTV's Australian channel. To land the gig, Rose competed against 2,000 applicants and completed a series of wacky challenges orchestrated by Jackass star Bam Margera. My favorite was drinking 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes and then vomiting on national television, she told the Australian. So that really made mum proud. And having to kiss strangers, like complete randoms down a busy Sydney street, another thing that my grandma will be impressed with when she watches it. She has a lot of tattoos. Rose has garnered a lot of attention for her ink. Just how many tattoos does she have? If I was to count them individually each time I got them, maybe 60 she told Conan O'Brien in 2015. But when they get close enough together, they start to become one, you know, like a sleeve that was really, like, 17 different tattoos. Rose said she tries to use that reasoning to her advantage when trying to land gigs. Now I can just say to the big studio heads, it's just three tattoo guys. You can cover that up. It's so easy. She had a rough upbringing. In an interview with Porter, Rose said she was born into a house plagued by substance and domestic abuse. I was a surprise and, my parents, probably weren't ready for a baby, she told the magazine in 2015. My mother left my dad after about a year, we had no money and my dad was not really a good person. She got out of there for my safety. Rose said her mother stole and pawned a television to pay for plane tickets to get to her sister's house in Queensland, Australia. When we rocked up to the front door, we were malnourished, my mum had two black eyes, and I was like one of those kids in scary movies who are dirty and bite people, she said, it was just us against the world for a long time, she continued, my mother, is the first one to say that she wasn't perfect, but everything she did was to the best of her ability, in the hope that she would raise the best daughter she could, she was bullied in school, in her interview with Porter magazine, Rose said she was bullied by her classmates from the age of 12 to 17. In one instance, she said five girls and one boy smashed metal chairs over her head as 60 other students cheered them on. The incident landed her in the hospital. Years later, some classmates reached out to Rose asking for forgiveness. I wrote back and forgave them, she said. They didn't like the fact I was different. I don't think they had hatred for me, per se. I think it was more that I stuck out like a sore thumb. She considered transitioning. Speaking to the Daily Mail in 2014, Rose revealed that growing up she had aspirations of transitioning into a boy. She even began saving money for surgery. I started a fund, it's $20,000 to have the surgery, and because we were so poor growing up every time I would find 5 cents or some spare money I would put it in this fund to have a sex change. She said, it was in my mind as something I wanted to do and then I just dot didn't. I guess I grew out of it. Rose recalled, I used to wake up wishing I was a boy. I even used to sleep on my front because I didn't want to get boobs ever, which I think worked actually. She later admitted to the edit that she was glad she didn't go through with the surgery. I'm a woman. I want to have babies one day, so I'm glad I didn't make changes earlier in my life she said in January 2017. She's becoming a major movie star. Now that she's conquered the world of streaming television, Rose has set her sights on the big screen. In the last few years alone, she's appeared in three high-profile action movies, Resident Evil, The Final Chapter, 2016, opposite Mila Jovovich, XXX, The Return of Xander Cage, 2017, starring Van Diesel, and John Wick. Chapter 2, 2017, 
opposite Keanu Reeves. If that wasn't enough, she'll also appear in the much-anticipated threequel, Pitch Perfect 3, in December 2017, and the Jason Statham-led action thriller Meg in 2018. Not bad, she's back with her ex. In November 2016, Rose reportedly reunited with ex-girlfriend Jess Riglioso, better known as one half of the band The Veronicas. According to Riglioso, the two fell back in love while filming the video for her song On Your Side. We have been friends for eight years, a really long time and it was just honestly the craziest thing, the singer said, via E! News. We just reconnected over doing this video, she wrote and directed it and is in it with us and we just sort of fell in love. Rose also spoke about her relationship in a March 2017 interview with an Australian radio station. Everybody in life can relate to the fact that things can go amazingly and there can be ups and downs, she said, via the Daily Mail. Every single down is just to make you a stronger person or to make you fight for what you want. Rose added that she's been enjoying a very smooth few years as of late. Everything really is wonderful. I am in such an amazing position, she said. The couple was photographed visiting Riglioso's mother in the hospital in August 2017. She used to be broke. In January 2017, Rose revealed on The Ellen and the Generous show that her road to success in Hollywood was filled with one financial hardship after the next. I started with a blow-up mattress from Target that me and my dog slept on for about a year, Rose said, via USA Today, adding that she was unemployed for two years. She eventually landed an audition for Orange is the New Black after the show's casting director saw her and break free. Imagine not getting any work for two years and then getting to audition for the greatest show in the world, she said. I said to everyone on the show, nobody's gonna notice I'm in this, blink and you'll miss it. And everyone was like, no, this is going to change your life. Apostrophe. I was wrong. She's not sure marriage is for her. Despite being engaged for two years, or... Arguably, because of it, Rose doesn't appear to be in any hurry to get married. According to the news, I've been engaged five times. For me, marriage is more about equal rights than the act of getting married, she told Cosmopolitan. When you don't have equal rights, it trickles down to kids who think, my aunt's gay so she can't get married, or I'm weird because I feel the same way. So it's important to break down that barrier. I'm more interested in having a loving, healthy, long-term relationship with someone I might want to have kids with someday," Rose said. Cheers to that.